So can you tell me a, a brief about what was the work that you did in the G-Shock project? Why we do the normalization altogether? So can you tell me what is what do you understand by the deadlock uh, scenario in the transaction? Uh, my name is Devan Chazino and I am an undergraduate student of chemical engineering at IIT Rupi. And uh, I have been involved in software development since my sophomore year. And I was able to crack Google Summer of Code in, uh, in my sophomore year too. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I worked in two to three startups. Uh, and I think that was all about my software uh, development journey. And I am <coughs> applying for companies in the placement season. So can you tell me a, a brief about what was the work that you did in the G-Shock project? So actually, uh, my organization was Processing Foundation and okay. uh, I worked on the core project. Uh, they have a core project, P5.sound.js, uh, which basically uh, deals with <clears throat> audio processing on uh, web. Like you okay. can manipulate and create, synthesize and do various stuff with audio processing on the website itself. It is basically made on, uh, it is basically top there on web audio APIs that is being natively provided. Okay. Uh, so my project was to, uh, what happened earlier with the project is, it was totally based upon the AMD model systems. Mm -hmm. Like whatever, whatever <coughs> functions were written, it was totally written inside a block of required JS specifications. Yeah. So it was very, you know, um, it was very cumbersome to maintain and very hard to debug the things. So my task was to revamp this model structure. My first task was to revamp this model structure uh, to the current ESM 2015 mm -hmm. specifications, which, uh, which basically, you know, uh, it, it provides a very better and cleaner and uh, intuitive <clears throat> architecture for the model system in our library. Yeah. So uh, to start with the DSA, I would like to know which is your favorite data structure, if I ask. Okay, so my favorite data structure, <clears throat> uh, these are graphs and uh, stats and queues, I would say. These three are oh. included. First one is the graph. So, I, okay, one year told about the nonlinear data structure and one year told about the linear data structure, right? Yeah. The stack and queue. Okay, let's start with the simpler one, the linear data structure first, okay? Yeah. So if I talk about uh, that, uh, whether you are given a set of a string and uh, you need to find whether it is a valid or not, then uh, there is a like valid parenthesis. Yeah. Okay. So there is a very simple way. What you do is uh, you put it in the stack and then try to just see that, okay, there is overall a net uh, cancellation being done by the opening and the closing basis, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. So in this case, let's suppose if I talk about uh, this particular string, then in this case, it's an invalid one, right? Yeah, it's invalid one. Just one second. Yeah. So if I talk about that, uh, you will be given a string. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what you need to tell is that longest valid parenthesis. You need to tell the length in this case, which is the valid longest valid. So in this case, if you see, this is the longest one. Mm, okay. This is okay, a long one. Yeah. yeah. Let me remove the cursor. So you see that in this five for character, five character size string, mm -hmm. my longest is this four. Okay. So in this case, my output uh, for this uh, problem will be four. Yeah, okay. Let Fine. me take some other example. Um, let me even suppose this is there. And in this case, the simple version is my longest one. So in this case, my output would be uh, what I can see is six. Okay. <clears throat> you getting the idea? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that, that, that's, that's a whole problem here that you will be given a string and you need to tell like, okay, what is, what is the longest uh, valid parenthesis? Mm -hmm. What is the length of basically? You don't have to tell the string exactly. You just have to tell the long length of the list longest parenthesis. Okay, okay. So basically, Take for a while maybe, yeah. So uh, can I ask some questions? Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Definitely go ahead, go ahead. So basically if I, if I can decode, this is like a string given and I have to find the longest substring. Yes. Which just length valid. will work, yeah. Not exactly yeah. string. So which which is uh, which will be a valid, valid set of uh, parentheses, yeah. Okay. So in this case, if you see that even uh, this segment individually is also 
long is valid but mm. even this is valid so but the longest one is this set out of these four the longest one is the last one mm, got it right mm -hmm. yeah so we have to tell the final length of the longest substring which has a valid parenthesis okay. so uh, one naive mm -hmm. approach is i can think of is i can have a a function that will check if a given string is substring or a valid parenthesis or not using the stack. Okay. Okay. And I will then use uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll then use I will then generate all the possible uh, substrings using mm -hmm. uh, one square method. I will using for loop or recursively, and then I can check individually if. You sure that you can find all set of substrings in big O of n square? Um. It's okay, so I'll start from this. Yeah, we can we can find that. Okay, can you tell me like how you will find all the set of substrings in big O of n square? Basically, if 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 I fix key, the substring is will be starting from i. Uh, let's say i equals to one. Okay. So so after, uh, the substring will be starting from these. Okay. So now what I will do is I'll iterate from i plus one to n, and uh, let's say key, I have j equals to two. Yeah. So see, I've, one C. I've, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You must have gone through the database and the operating system courses. Have you? So when we talk about the database, can you tell me what is the why we do the normalization altogether? Basically, normalization. If if I can recall it very clearly, uh, it is basically we use uh, the we use the concept of foreign key and prime key, right? So basically, it helps to you know first. I think it helps to separate the two belongings, and at the same time, we can <clears throat> we can extract information if they are uh, if they are related in some one manner or two manner. But if they are very much entirely unrelated entities, we can keep a separate tables for them. But if we, but at the same time, they are related with some properties, and we okay. want to. You can just sum up saying, "Yeah, it's to reduce the redundancy." That's it. Yeah, it's a simple word. It's in yeah. what manner and so on. Okay. I was about to say what. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like you can be a little more uh, concise. Okay. So can you tell me what is what do you understand by the deadlock uh, scenario in the transaction database transaction? Deadlock scenario database transaction. Too. Yeah. I think I'm not able to recall that. Okay. Uh, if I come to the operating system side, can you tell me what can if can you think of uh, any example of uh, first come first serve scheduling algorithm? Example of first come first serve. It happens in a general networking uh, thing. Like whatever requests are, uh, whatever requests that come first, they are served first. Let's okay. Say it, yeah. Okay. If I talk about the round robin algorithm, can you tell me first of all what is it? So basically, round robin algorithm is uh, uh, <clears throat> we uh, <clears throat> we a uh, process like we have a process P1 and P2, let's say, and we have a time quantum allowed for three, and P1 and P2 both require let's say five units of time quantum, mm -hmm. but we uh, we can only provide three uh, time quantums at a time to run the process, right? So what happens is after one time quantum, the process P1 will be uh, will be archived to another queue, and then and then the next it will go in basically waiting oh, to okay okay i think yeah i i got the idea